What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a SketchUp extension that helps you quickly unfold objects inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the InnerAuth Unfold tool is a free extension you can find in the SketchUp extension warehouse. And this is a fairly simple tool. It's basically designed to help you unfold shapes um, in order to make them flat. And this one is interesting because when it unfolds the shapes, it allows you to set the face that you're kind of aligning your unfolded faces to. I'm giving you a little bit more control over the way that this works. But let's jump over into SketchUp and take a look at the way that this works. So you can install it using the extension warehouse, but then you can go into extensions and click on the option for the InnerAuth Unfold tool. And so what that's gonna do is that's going to have you select a face and then click on another face in order to unfold it. And so notice what this is doing. If I come in here and click on this, like this, is it's taking this object and it's unfolding it and it's aligning the entire unfolded piece with whatever faces you're clicking on. And so this gets really interesting, especially with like curved surface and other things like that, because basically what it does is it allows you to set a base face and then you can just click on here and notice how it's taking that entire thing and it's just kind of maintaining the selection right here in order to unfold this. Now this gets a little bit interesting here because remember what this is doing is this is unfolding this object to align to whatever the next object you click on is, right? Well, in this case, we don't really want that. And so what we'd want instead in a situation like this is with the tool active, right? So in Roth unfold tool, what I would want to do instead is I would want to do an alt click and that's going to fold the faces that I click on to the selected, right? So if you do a single click without holding alt, it's going to take the new object and align the old selection with that. Um, so it's taking that old selection and aligning it with the faces. But if you hold the alt key, it's going to do the opposite, right? It's going to take the new selection and it's going to fold it to align with the old selection. And so while this gets interesting with shapes like this sphere, right? If I click across this face like this, notice how I can use this in order to take the pieces of the sphere and align them to a flat surface like this, it's not necessarily going to be ideal for a shape like this one, just because there's going to be a lot of clicking involved. But you can come in here and align um, or take faces like all the ones on this sphere and kind of like flatten them out into like a paper shape like this if you decide that you want to. And so this will also work with other surfaces like this triangle, right? So if I do the InnerAuth Unfold tool, notice how I can kind of do the same thing Right, and in this case, I want, in this case, I want this surface, this surface, this surface, like this, right? So it basically took that triangle and it just uh, basically aligned all of it and it basically flattened it all out into a single plane. Now I could click right here in order to get this closer to like actually flat if I wanted to do that, just like this. And so on something like this house, you just wanna make sure you kind of move in sequence around the house, right? So I would take this end right here, but then I would probably start moving along the long part of this house before finally aligning this right here um, in order to get this to work. Um, you just wanna be careful with something like this just because if you do it kind of out of order, right? So if I come in here and I start clicking and I start picking up different edges in here, this might like jump around on you a little bit. So you just wanna make sure you're moving in like a full sequence around that house. But you can see how by going about this different ways, you can get different flattened versions of your objects. But then you could take this and you could print it um, into something that you could actually fold up into a house model. And so just as kind of a reminder, there is also a tool from Alex Schreier, um, which is an unwrap and flatten faces extension that you can download and try as well. Um, the one thing about the unwrap and flatten faces is it does try to do all of this kind of automatically, right? So you can select these objects and it'll kind of like automatically try to unfold this stuff. Um, so I, I would recommend trying that one and this one by Christina Inneroth, um, just because one gives you a little bit more control, I think, and 
one maybe tries to automate the process a little more. So I don't think either one is bad. I think it's kind of a, depending on your situation, you might use either one of these. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're interested in this kind of extension. If you do this kind of thing, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you do want to learn more about SketchUp extensions, check out my ultimate extensions guide where I talk about over 140 SketchUp extensions that you can use in SketchUp. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.